So let's do a quick walk around on the new uh, electric Toro tractor. It's a total conversion. Had a gasoline motor, 20 horsepower right here. It's been replaced by a 13 horsepower, 48 volt electric motor. And I'll just uh, walk you through what's going on here. Uh, first of all, we have four batteries, four 12 volt batteries wired in series. So there's two here under the hood, and there's two more back here under the seat. The motor simply replaced the gasoline motor. It runs through the transmission the exactly the same way that the gasoline motor did. Just had to swap the pulley, basically. It actually fit, same size uh, shaft. That secondary pulley below is for the uh, mower, mower deck. I haven't dealt with that yet. Right here you have a 48 volt to 12 volt DC to DC converter so that I can run 12 volt accessories. Uh, things like the, um, the battery monitoring circuit, the lights, uh, and things like that. Over here we have a dead man switch. This is the switch that turns everything off and should there be a real problem uh, we can kill everything immediately. Uh, from there it goes up through a 400 amp fuse and from that fuse it goes up to a contactor as it's called. This is a 400 amp contactor that takes the voltage from the batteries and puts it into the motor. The motor spins at one speed. There's no speed controller on this tractor. All speed is controlled via the transmission of the tractor. Uh, next to that is the battery monitoring circuit. This little circuit board uh, connector thing hooks up and shows us what's going on with the batteries. I utilize the existing ignition switch and it simply turns on the contactor which simply supplies power to the motor. Emergency brake still works, or well, the parking brake, I guess you could call it. And we have a battery monitoring. It looks at voltage, amps, amp hours, and watts. The transmission is still in play. Forward, neutral, and reverse. That's basically, what's going on with our tractor? So to run this tractor, I'll go through that with you. Close this up. Well, the first thing you do is we turn on the main power. That turns on the battery monitor. As you can see, we have 50.58 volts. And obviously, we're not using any amps because the motor isn't on. So let's switch it to neutral. And then it's just a simple matter of turning on the ignition key. And the motor's running. Now, up here, we have a switch for a fan to keep the motor cool. It's a basic computer fan that I have hanging around. And we also have a temperature gauge. Simple aquarium temperature gauge. And isn't it amazing how it fit right in that slot uh, that used to have the hour meter when this was a gasoline motor engine. I just got to make a little spacer for the bottom there. We also have lights. And then to drive the tractor, it's a simple matter of putting it in gear and then just simply stepping on this forward pedal. The harder you push down on the pedal, the faster we go.
tractor actually has disc brakes. This brake pedal here. When you stop, you simply just shut everything off. Turn the ignition switch. And it's off. So far, after running it for about 40 minutes, the temperature was 110 degrees on the motor, which is really much better than I expected. And just driving around, we're using about oh, 20 amps. I'll show you something right here. With the engine idling, we're only using 7 amps. And as we move ahead, At this speed, which would be about cutting speed, we're using about oh, 20 amps. Well, that's it. That's a walk around on the Toro electric conversion tractor. Some other things that I had to do uh, to fit the two batteries under the seat I had to extend or widen this compartment in the back and also raise it so the seat is up about two inches higher than it normally would be, about an inch and a half higher. Uh, once I cut this battery compartment in the back I had to find something to bridge the gap that I made and I had this e-track, a little piece of e-track, I threw it on there I mean, I might be able to hang a toolbox on there or something. It's not, you know, you can't tow anything from that. It's just not sturdy enough, but you certainly could hang something back there or whatnot. Obviously, since I'm not using the mower deck underneath it, uh, the height for the mower deck has been removed. Ultimately, this will have a front-mounted mower deck with its own motors and its own batteries. Uh, that'll prolong the life of the batteries in the tractor itself and just give me an awful lot more run time. Um, just driving around, towing a trailer and doing things like that, it's only using uh, somewhere around 20 amps. I've got 110 amp hours and of course as you know we can use half of that so I have 55 amp hours to be used. So I'm guessing that just driving around uh, using it as a yard tractor, I'm probably going to get 45 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Depends on how much idle time we have. Certainly, if I ran the mower off it, that's going to use an awful lot of current. And I would expect that I would probably only get about a half hour, maybe 40 minutes of mowing. So anyways, this was a great project, awful lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it.